Hey everyone, welcome back to a new video, and more importantly, a new game. This game is Project Cars, I'm here to test it out. Now, I've already done about one race, or maybe two, and, um, but what I can tell is it's it's very different to, say, Forza Horizon 2 like I've been playing, or Forza 5. Um, but yeah, see what you guys think about it. So, um, I want to change the settings, like, um, oops, change the settings to just uh, uh, change difficulty, you know, so I'm going, I think it might be in controls, or what about gameplay actually, let's play gameplay, yeah, here it is, okay, steering assistance, driving assist allowed, or anything like brakes, no, stability control, no, traction control, no, mechanical failures, yes, tire wear, real, real, auto engine start, no, um, guiding line, no track map, cycle info, cockpit mirrors. Yep, yeah, that's that's good. Okay, let's just uh, exit. Okay, it's taking a while. So we're going to go into free practice down here. Um, the track, I th think I might just go for an easy circuit just to uh, get more used to it, you know. So, um, geez, which track? California Highway. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Dubai, uh, Nürburgring. You know, this is the part where I wish I had a racing wheel for this game because it just makes it way better to use. But I don't have a controller really, so I uh, can't do much about it unless I actually buy a racing wheel. But I don't have the money or anything, so I think I might just go to. Let's see what's in this one. Hmm. Nope. Um. Donington. That seems pretty straightforward. Um. All right. Donington, it is. And set the car. I might go like a classic car, yeah. Maybe like an old F1 car if they have them. I heard they have, so... Oh, what? Oh, my God, that'd be hard to use. Um, ah, perfect. Okay, um, so let's start. I don't know how hard this is going to be since I have an 80s F1 car with no traction control or stability control or ABS. So, just bear with me. I may crash the whole time. I don't know if I'm going to be on the track at all. I might just be in a wall the whole time. So, um, let's just see how it turns out. So we're going to press drive. Oh, I wanted the Lotus. Well, it is, but it's different colours, I guess. So, oh, fire. That's so cool. Oh, wow, that's... This, I didn't think this game would be this detailed. Like, it's really detailed. Whoa, 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 whoa. Those turbos just spilled up and just spat me off the track. Holy crap. Oh, no, this is going to take some getting used to. Whoa, when those turbos spool up. Man. Okay. Uh, oh, shit. Oh, my God. This is insane. You can't go full throttle on this thing. I'm, like, half throttling it right now. Uh, what the hell? I'm turning... Okay, that's really weird. Like... 
Oh man, this is gonna take a while. Oh, there we go. Okay. Okay. I've actually never done this track before. So, um... But I've heard about it. That's, that's close enough, right? Um... So, yeah, my, uh... The way I heard about this game was, uh, my friend... Uh... He told me about it. He said it was a really good game. I'll, I'll put the link to his, uh, channel in the description below. Um... And, yeah, he told me it was a good game, so I thought... Why not check it out? Checked it out, I liked it. So I got it, and uh, that's that. So, um, yeah, I put the link to his description, I mean, t the link to his, um, to his channel in the description, sorry. And, um, and yeah. Oh god. Just the turbos spill off in this thing, it just goes, oh my god, it's like a bat out of hell. Jeez, it gives you some respect for the people that drove these things back in the 80s, like Senna and stuff. Holy shit. Okay, that's third gear. Let's see how this... Oh my god. Jesus. Uh, I'm just remembering this thing has uh, like over 1200 horsepower. Or something like that. Some ridiculous figure. That F1 cars now don't have. Oh god, just waiting. Oh, I didn't spin that time. The, the one, oh shit, the one problem with this game is you don't get really an as big sense of speed as you do with, say, like, Forza 5. Like, with Forza 5, you get a sense of speed where how fast you're going, but this just kind of feels like you're going the same speed when you get up to a certain speed, but it doesn't bother me. It's still a good game. Yep, okay. All good, all good, all good. The sound of though is awesome. I think the racing line is a bit off. Because every time I kind of just like half break, it just doesn't go red anymore. And I break way too early. So that's a bit off. But, you know, I'll figure it out eventually. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a good game. Oh god. Yep. Yep. Yeah, I knew that was going to happen. So, um... Oh, this is a different one. Okay, turbo spool up. Oh god, turbo spool up. Oh, how did, how did people drive these in the 80s? Seriously. Okay, so I'm kind of in the sand trap at the moment. Oh, I didn't pay attention there. So, oh, there's a camera view. I mean, an inside, uh, <laughs> inside helmet view, sorry. So I'm getting so mixed up right now. Yeah, it happens. Okay, if I can just spin around. There we go. Oh my... Oh, there's actually foot movement too. Ah, uh, there's no heel toe. Is that heel toe? Okay, let's just start in second. Hmm. Ah, uh, that's kind of heel toe. Um, well, oh, this is a cool view. Oh. There we go. Yeah, I'd actually recommend this game to uh, any uh, people like cars, racing, or anyone who just wants to try it. Now, I keep pressing X because I think I'm in Forza. Because I always play with, like, use manual with clutch in, in Forza and, uh, to change down and up gears like X and B. But for this, it's like the, uh, two bumpers and it's really taking a while to get used to. Especially when the car won't stay on the track. wonder if I can do a burnout in this thing. Close enough. Yeah, guys, that's the end of this video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. Like and subscribe, and uh, see you next time.